Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. What type of containers are available in SSIS packages or package? Uh, explain two of them in detail. So let's go to SSD, T or bids, whatever you have according to the version of SSIS installed on your system. So when we hit the uh, containers, we see three containers. We see four loop container, we see four each loop container, and we see sequence container. So let's bring four loop container here and uh, study a little bit what exactly it is and what it does for us. Four loop container uh, work exactly the same way what we have for loop in the other languages such as C, C Sharp, Visual Basic, Java or any other language. So in the for loop what we have to have, we have to have initial expression or initial value of a variable and then uh, we evaluate that uh, variable with the, uh, some expressions and then uh, if we want to increment the, the value, we can you know add the value increment. Uh, let's say we have a, a variable i and uh, i is equal to one here, and uh, i is equal to or less than equal to ten, and we want to keep running it. And here we increment that thing i is equal to uh, i plus one. So this this for loop can be used in a situation where we want to repeat the same task inside. Um, let's say ten times we want to run a data flow that is reading from a flat file and loading to the SQL Server table, and we want to repeat that ten times. So this is where we can use it. There could be other scenarios where we can use this one, and uh, this is used to repeat till the expressions are not evaluated. Uh, let's uh, go to the next. Uh, container and it's called for each loop container so for each loop container as from the name you can tell it is going to run uh, for the members uh, or for the record uh, for each of that so here we have a uh, different collections in this case we have for each file enumerator let's say if we are reading uh, the files from the folder so it's going to run uh, for each of the file if uh, we are reading a uh, the data from an uh, ADU enumerator, uh, enumerator that's uh, if we have the records uh, in the object variable and uh, then for each loop uh, is going to read each of the record uh, from that ADU uh, record set. Uh, that this um, loop is really you know um, I, I will say it is um, like 90% or even 100% used in SSIS packages. Uh, it, there are tons of scenarios I have done in different videos of where I have used this one and uh, it's very common reading file from the folder, reading uh, data from the object type variable and uh, reading data from the variable and uh, th there are different scenarios uh, this uh, for each loop uh, con container is used in uh, SSIS packages. The next one uh, is a sequence container. Sequence container is used to group the tasks. So what, what is the benefit of doing that? So if you are putting some tasks together and you want to say, okay, if all those tasks completed successfully, then you want to run the next uh, task or, or a container. So by grouping them, you are building a transaction. So with these set of uh, tasks, you are building the transaction. If those get completed, then you want to do something, uh, you know, or you want to uh, run the next uh, container or a task. If they fail it, you want to uh, maybe run the next or other container or a task. So that these are the three containers available to us and uh, most uh, um, uh, used containers are for each loop container and sequence container and uh, I have seen you know very minimum use of a uh, for loop container in uh, daily uh, development. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video.